we have arrived. So behind us is CSF. So that's a big partner of ours on the G81 build and just throughout all our builds actually. So we arrived, here's our Sur Suburban, so it can take all the goods. We've landed, the flight was amazing. We actually got a whole row to ourselves, so we were sleeping. But more importantly, we're at CSF today. It's around 9 a.m. It's about 21 degrees. It's gonna be a hot day, but let's go look inside. We've got the first part of our huge SEMA project. Right. This is crazy. I did not expect to come in today and see this box, but firstly, a big thank you to Kyle at Titan Motorsports. Without him and his efforts getting this kind of build together with precision, yeah, it just wouldn't be a thing. So shout out to Kyle and the Titan Motorsports team for getting this, getting this delivered to CSF in rapid time. Um, but yeah, this is Precision Turbo 6870. Let's figure out what's inside the box. Precision Turbo, it's a big boy. Let's have a look. Wow, I don't know how it's packaged. Ready? Wow. It's a big boy. Boom. So we've got a full single turbo setup going on this G81 M3. Starting here, we're going to strip this down now. Once we start having a look in depth into it, strip it down, send it off to be finished. Then the guys at Tom Ridley Performance are building up a full manifold construction and all the hardware required to run a single turbo on our S58. So you saw this turbo back at Rabi at CSS place and this turbo was looking at, it's obviously a beautiful turbo, but the finish is not what we wanted. It was a casted finish. It just looked, yeah, out of the box, which is not what we want with this building, especially with such a big kind of ornament in the engine base. So um, the guys here have kind of like blasted it all down, like sanded it down, got rid of that um, kind of casted finish, polished it up, They've even done inside where the logo is, and then just now, where you've just seen, it's just been uh, frosted, power, powder coated. So this is kind of going for a match for our inlet manifold from CSF. Um, so it should match nicely, and all the other hardware in the engine bay is like a matte finish. Um, and then you've got the primary light like, signatures along the front. So yeah, should look good. Now this will dry for about three to five hours, uh, if not a little bit longer. We'll then collect it, and then the build starts next week. Morning from LA, we are at Impressive Wraps. Impressive Wraps has been the place for a nose tech for some time. It's been an inspiration to be here, but guess what? They've been wrapping our G81 M3. We'll show you the color in a moment, but first, let's take a look around one of their units. This is the left-hand unit, they've both got the right-hand side, but it is crunch time. It's T-minus about two weeks to SEMA. If you recognize this car, you will have seen all the content last year on SEMA. This car was crazy, but you can see the LMRs. The kit is just a crazy, crazy event. And we come down, we're just gonna have a little walk around the cars, but loads of cool stuff. Obviously, you'll see this now SEMA's live, but we've got, which is really cool, this is actually PI Carbon. This is a UK-based company. So shout out to uh, Paddy and Guys at Quattro, they're churning up. We've got some wicked Ferrari, We've got McLaren. What else? Liberty Walk, bad boy. That's going to be a big build. Um, so that's Michael's Liberty Walk 720S. Some cool wheels, so that's T minus two weeks until starting. More nose tech. We've got Greg's Porsche and then brand new and nose tech matte PPF, I believe it is. So some really cool, unique colors. A Diablo, look at that. Stunning Playboy Diablo X and those tech Corolla GR. These are going to be popping off, I think, this year. These are going to be crazy. So, this is the young is this Golden Wrench's car? Maybe. So, Golden Wrench Supplies, shout out to them. This is, I think, I believe this might be their SEMA build, um, but it's really cool. Look at the Eventuri intake as well. Quite a cool detail. Maybe the bonnet will be open. Probably not. Let's see. Got the Eventuri in there. T minus, so yeah, this is 
yeah, crunch time at one of the biggest rap companies in LA, just churning out, getting shit done. Um, but let's go and have a look at the G81 M3. So this is a quick insight into the 720S Liberty Walk, tungsten gray, new PPF color from a nose tech, out in the sunlight, looks pretty crazy. The depth on the car, you obviously won't be able to pick it up on camera, but it's beautiful and the finish is nice. With the PPF, you can get around the corners, yeah, fucking stunning. But anyways, let's go have a look at this M3. There she is. Look at it, Narwhal Blue. So this is an Alex Choi X nose tech color. It was released this time last year at SEMA 2022. So we saw it firsthand, I think, on Alex Choi's Hurricane. Beautiful color. We needed something classy. So khaki green has disappeared. Um, the guys at Impressive Wrap stripped it all back down, stripped down the car um, and applied the full new color. And it just, yes, yeah, my first time seeing it, it looks pretty pretty good i'm pretty impressed with the color i was we made this decision from the other side of the world while being in the uk we had a little swatch about the size of a leaflet a5 leaflet and yeah it looks really good i think i just want to get it built up get it out in the sunshine and see what it really looks like but i think it's a classy color it's going to go down well we've got some new wheels from Vossen that are being machined up right now so it's now thursday afternoon here in uh, well thursday midday in la afternoon in uh, miami so Vossen are just machining the wheels now they're going to be shipping out tomorrow after they've been coated to then arrive monday tuesday in california while we do something in the engine bay, which you saw earlier with that big turbo. But yeah, let's get on it. I'm getting on the tools now. I'm gonna rebuild this car, pull it out in the sunshine, see what it really looks like. run you through a quick little detail that we're going to add for the SEMA project. So this is an MHC rear corner direct replacement made in full carbon. Pre this prepaid carbon, really nice finish. So what we're going to do now is we're going to wrap the flat part here in the nose tech vinyl, leave this kind of embossed bit coming outwards, leave that exposed carbon to match up nicely with the SS1s. And of course, in MHC fashion, the weave directions match perfectly. So it should make a nice little detail, something unique on the car and something that you'll see when you start looking further into the build. So you've just seen, we've now wrapped up the car in the beautiful nose tech color. And more importantly, it's now time to get our hands dirty and really do something special. So we're at Studio RSR here in California, where man, they do a bit of everything from their iconic roll cages to wide body builds to just servicing the fastest crank hub world record. Um, so yeah, the Guinness World Record should definitely come check them out, but they can fit a crank up, I believe, in eight hours. So drop it in the morning, collect it after work, and it's ready to go. So that's crazy. They've got loads of stuff. They literally have a bit of everything, loads of time attack cars, hill racing cars, some really cool stuff. So they have been absolute legends and given us this beautiful thing um, so we can get on with our single turbo build. So it is now 3 p.m. on, what is it? Tuesday, great, yeah, losing the days, it's a bit SEMA crunch vibe, but Tuesday, 3 p.m., Tom Rigby Performance has just landed, him, Joe, and another one of their colleagues has landed here in LAX and now in an Uber with the full single turbo build, apart from the turbo, you've seen what we've done with that already, um, and that's there behind me. So they're landing, they're about 40 minutes away. I've got the car here, I'm gonna start stripping it down. I'm gonna remove, unfortunately, the satin finish Eventuri intake. Uh, which is a real shame, but unfortunately, when you've got a big turbo sat there, we're not going to be able to utilize the Aventuri intake. So they're going to go off. We're going to maintain the Aventuri engine cover because it just looks beautiful. Um, yeah, 
That's it. Everything else in the engine bay is going to stay, st stay the same. Um, I want to run through a couple of things before Tom gets here. So the single turbo is a new build between myself and Tom. Um, so we're going to offer this as a kind of bolt-on platform, pretty much for left-hand drive, right-hand drive cars. It's a single turbo kit, but two variants, a 68, 70, and a 72, 75, I believe, or you can we'll whack them here, but I need to confirm on the manifold fixings. Um, but I'm running the 6870, so this is built perfectly for a stock motor and stock transmission. This car, of course, has done everything it's done. So if you've seen episodes one, two, three, four, and maybe this is five or six, um, you'll see the car's had a lot. It's currently running a stage two plus package. So it's got a CSF inlet manifold, PI, it's got mic ball harness all the way around. It's got the full uh, CSF cooling package so that takes into account the uh, front heat exchanger, transmission cooler, inlet manifold, fully bullet. And it's just got stock turbos, R44 200 cell sports cats and R44 titanium system. So it runs at healthy power. Um, if anybody's seen some of our footage over in New York, it's a quick car, but we want some noise. We want that extra little bit of smoothness because you know we might be pushing the stock turbos a little bit. We want to just chill out, utilize a nice big turbo and see what we can do. But if you want a fully built or well, just drop in rods pretty much, some upgraded hardware and a full built transmission, you can get some really good power out. You can go for a bigger turbo, but that has a lot of spiel. That's a little bit more about the single turbo kit, but more importantly, the time has now begun. We've got two days, two days to do this, but well, one day pretty much, just tomorrow where we're gonna strip everything out, put the single turbo in, connect it all up to our stock system, which is really cool. We'll then drop the car down, we'll start mapping it, get a really strong map on it. If we can get on a dyno, great. Otherwise, you'll see we've got some crazy wheels being flown right now from Miami straight to LAX and they're special, special wheels from Boston. So anyways, less than me, let's go see what we can do. every company across the globe is going crazy with new products to debut them at the SEMA show in Las Vegas. So one company in particular we work with so closely, um, really helped them with the UK and European sales is Magtrace JQ from California. They've just hand delivered this to the workshop unexpectedly. This wasn't, we didn't think this was going to be ready because they've been so focused on that F series wheel. that has been a great success but let's have a look inside the box. So warranty sticker, look at that. BMW G81 M3 Touring for R44 Performance SEMA 2023. So that's a nice little touch. Keep that forever with the car. Instruction manual. I'm just gonna rip this apart, but you get some cool, I'll go through all this boring stuff later. This, this is the most important part. Full detachable racing steering wheel with all OEM functions. There's a lot of racing wheels on the market, of course, it's not anything new, but most importantly, this retains all OEM functions. If you have ACC, you can manage it. If you've got a horn and you want your horn, you can manage it. M1, M2 on the fly, cruise control, limit, the modes, the phone number. Details will go into a bit further once it's on the car. You've got like joystick movement, all new to the G-Series. This takes so much. I don't even know, mind power to make this happen. The amount of technology that's in this thing is ludicrous. It takes at least maybe, I'd say five minutes to install. If that, maybe two minutes, it's that quick. Just a simple process, rip the steering wheel out, the stock one, bolt this in and away you go. You even get like a torque thing here so you can put it on or you torque it up. But just a quick one, when you buy a JQ, you buy it like this. You then need to buy a steering wheel. So you've got Sparco, you've got Momo, you've got endless steering wheels. We're gonna choose, I think, a Momo, but obviously, yeah, you see my crunch, Tuesday afternoon, we've just been hand-delivered this. So next thing we need to find a steering wheel. So let's get this installed now. Let's get steering wheel on it from the guys here at studio, and then we'll select what wheel we're gonna run for SEMA. <music> guys, what are the differences? So obviously, I'd say most of you guys especially our kind of content, you guys probably won't go all out and go for a full JQ race wheel. But if you do, then this is the one for you. This is the Sparco wheel that Robert from Studio has lended, lent us just for the install while we saw our own. So that's how it's gonna look. And of course, the hardware is provided from JQ and the correct fixings that match up nicely. But let's show through like some of the um, kind of, well, I'm gonna show you straight away what JQ originated from. JQ originated from these beautiful paddles 
And these are what every customer should be buying. They're absolutely sensational. The way it changes gear, the feeling it gives you, and the best thing is you can be anywhere and you can do that. And if you come from an older M, like an M3 or an E92, you'll know if you hit that part of the paddle, it's gonna be flapping everywhere. These are also the JQ adjustable. So these are fully adjustable, forward and back, up and down, which is really nice. So depending on your size of hands, you can adjust them. I've actually got a GT3 RS and I've got these paddles on there. They're amazing on track. You can fully adjust them. You can get them absolutely perfect. No other paddle on the market, but let's go straight into it. So plug and play, you'll get this piece here, which mimics this technology there. So you connect these, that's your airbag and all of the kind of canvas systems connect through there. That will eliminate any codes and codes are fully eliminated. So there's no lights that are going to be on that dashboard. And if there are, probably an install error, but I don't know how you'll, you'll mess up two, two plugs, pretty much. But run through the things, I've got a, I haven't got ACC, unfortunately, I haven't got loads of money in spec, but we've got no ACC, so it doesn't really make a difference. We've got heated, that'll be canceled through this piece. Um, volume is on there. You've got obviously phone calls mode. You've also got the uh, voice control. Volume is on there as well. You then have uh, track, uh, distance control and adjustability there. Um, and you can got the limit. Two of the best features, we've got M1 and M2, as well as if I show you this, you've got fully adjustable, you can add anything. So let's say on my F80 M3 race car, I've got traction control on the fly so I can quickly adjust it. So if conditions change, but I don't want to get out of M1, I can just reduce the traction. Um, suspension you can change, or actually quite a fun thing, you can do left and right indicator. So if you want to, it just makes life a lot easier, especially if you're on a track day and you want to let someone buy, vice versa. Anyways, that's enough talking. That is a lot of stuff. And this Sparco wheel's actually really nice. It's a little bit too racy for the Touring, I think. We're gonna go for a bit of a bigger. This may be like a 320, 330. We'll probably go 350. Um, but yeah, less than me. Let's get this thing installed and see how it looks. Welcome Tom, back in the US. So we're now we're back in, in town. Back in town, back in LA. So he just arrived straight from the United Kingdom. It's the full TWP XR44 single turbo kit. I can see in front, yeah. it's hefty. Yeah. So walk us from like the left to right, what we got just in summary. Yeah, well, we just got the bubble wrap off it after putting it through all the, uh, all the luggage, which was a mission in itself. Um, but yeah, so we've got obviously the manifold. It's a twin wastegate setup. Um, we're going to be running precision turbos on these builds. Uh, two variants on that, so you've got the 6870, which is kind of good for about a thousand horsepower, so that'll be more stock uh, engine and gearbox guys. And then we offer a 7275, um, and they're both going to be the next gen turbos, so they are an even better version, but they've only been out in the past couple of months, really, mm. maybe even the past month. So the 7275 will then go up to sort of your 1200, 1300 horsepower. And then we will offer kind of a one above that, but that'll be a redesigned manifold and a bigger, bigger turbo again. But the main focus is on this kit, um, two variants. So we've got the manifold, um, the downpipe. So this will connect to the um, car's stock system. So if you've already got, like you have your R44 system, that'll bolt straight in. Um, it'll also bolt up to a stock, completely stock system. If you've got a Miltec, a Remus, whatever you've got on there, it'll bolt up. Got your downpipe, you've got your screamer pipes, and then obviously wastegates, all the clamps. It's a completely fully comprehensive kit. Uh, all the coolant lines as well to alter the, the coolant lines. You've got the oil drains. So um, everything comes in the kit. So this is going to be go, mate. Um, yeah. pretty much from the launch of SEMA. Second you see this, this will go live on go. Tuesday of SEMA, so the release date of the car behind us. Yeah. Good luck, Dylan. Uh, this is all down to him. There's a lot involved. Yeah. Uh, but this will be live on our website. You can check out. Bit of a lead time, obviously, initially, um, because these yeah. are going into production. It's very hard. It's all hand fabricated in the UK. Yeah. So shout out to the team that do all the hand fabrication. They've, one, smashed this one yeah. out of the park because it was a bit unplanned, but we wanted to do something. Yeah. So we made it happen. Um, and of course you can see the turbo's back from finishing. It looks good. This is gonna be obviously the holy grail at the top of the front of the engine yeah. bay. Um, so we're gonna bolt this back together. The boys are on the mad strip down. It's Tuesday, T 5.30. So yeah. um, we've got to roll this car out to detailing 
Tuesday, Thursday morning. So, um, mission yeah. on. So we have got one of the final pieces of the puzzle. More importantly, we do have our wheels. They've just arrived, but these brake calipers have just arrived back from PQ. So Dan's going to do a quick overlay. PQ are one of like the hottest performance shops here in Los Angeles, as well as the studio, of course. But more importantly, they've just done us a full kind of rub down, repaint to match the wrap. And it matches 100% perfect, which is unbelievable. And I dropped these off yesterday morning. So uh, less than 24 hours, they're back here. They're going to be put on the car. Yeah, I don't know what else. We're gonna get them back on, and then we're gonna unbox the wheels in a minute and show you guys what these really look like. But yeah, shout out to PQ. You guys are absolute legends. These have just arrived from Miami, overnighted. Let's have a look. First of a first. Wow. Of course, it must be special, no? Double box. A so shout out to Diego. I'm sure you'll be watching this. I love you, man. Thank you, Diego. No re the only reason we have Vossens on this car is because of you. And Kyle, of course, for the ongoing support. And trust that this is going to be a good idea. But yeah, these are going to be crazy. First of the first, especially on a GAE. There's nothing like this. It's been done. All right. Oh, Vossen. It's like Christmas. Wow. All right. Wash. Speechless is probably the only word. There she is. So it's a die mag, die bag, die mag uh, barrel that's made in the UK, and then a Vossen face finished in what? What's the code? Latino gold. Latino gold. So it's inspired by the GT2 RS 991.1 uh, YSAT kind of wheel. And then hidden hardware on the backside. Again, hardware all in metal. We do have some center caps as well um, that need to go on. They should be in the box. So they're quite cool. So we'll show you those later. But look at that. Wow. Thank you very much for, at Vossen for dealing with it. And the guys in the UK um, for getting these quickly to Vossen and building it all up like yesterday. So yeah, it's going to be... Now the stressful part is putting the tires on it. So we've got some cup twos um, that have been sent over from the UK. And yeah, we've got a roll to someone else. Another shop now, uh, that's someone that has the balls to kind of install them. Um, I definitely don't. So yeah, over to Ron's place where we'll get them installed. everybody we are now on friday afternoon the watch is dead but it's about 2 p.m we're in angels detailing so he's a, a guy out in la that's highly recommended by some locals we gave him the car last night he's been detailing it all night long all morning the car looks amazing he's doing like 80 percent of the detailing now and then he'll take care of the car when we arrive at sema get it all ready then we can drive it right into the thing but most importantly the boys are behind so ar motor works absolutely smashed the install. They put the cup twos that were supplied from the guys over in the UK. So shout out to Kai and Aldridge getting these packaged overnighted um, to New York. 
You can see here, absolutely no damage to the carbon barrels. That's obviously the scariest thing. So shout out to them boys, pure effort. And then Kyle from Vossen just dropped off the nuts. So he's just flown in a couple hours earlier. So this is the SEMA crunch. Kyle was due to fly in in this afternoon. We told him that we need them a little bit earlier. So he changed his flight and got these. So these are the center nuts. So obviously it's five studs behind here. There's three like two and a half mil Allen keys behind there. That'll come out. We can put the wheel on, put it all back on. And then this goes in the front, which is just a work of art. Dylan will show you the details in a bit, but that will glow in there, something like that. Should look pretty rad, but these just give me some crazy motorsport energy. So uh, Tom's on some tuning, just refining the tune now. We're putting the wheels on the other side, then we'll go on this side, and then it's out for a big shoot. and girls we are here at SEMA 2023 and SEMA 2023 for R44 performance wouldn't be a thing if we didn't have this guy. Ravi from CSF has helped us all the way from the start from Goodwood when he said we have a space on our stand here at SEMA in Vegas and I said cool what do we do next and he helped us all the way along but let's have a look at the car. Fuck yeah we made it baby. <laughs> And of course, we are at the CSF booth. So, M3 Touring is behind me. It is looking amazing. You've just seen some highlights briefly, but it's been a movie. It's been, it's actually surreal being here. Finally, after six months, the car has gone from the UK to New York to Miami, all the way back up to New York and across to Los Angeles, and finally here. So, we'll walk you through the CSF booth briefly and then over to the car. So, we've actually got this beautiful full carbon build that's built in six months as well called the legacy so we'll go in a bit more detail later but it's an absolute work of art to be honest the lines on it are crazy but then of course we've got the csf booster so shout out to the boys um ravi and his team and alan for churning all of that out but let's talk about the m3 touring now wow it just looks unreal so of course we dropped the hood we got it off because it's all about what's under the hood and what's behind the car. So we've got a really nice display to shout out the guys at CSF. They put something really kind of emotional on the wall, but we'll kind of walk through that in detail at the very end of this video. But let's walk through the spec list. I want to go through, talk about the part and one reason kind of behind why the part is on the car. So we'll start up with the front. So you've obviously got a lot of carbon. So MHC, of course, a brand that we push heavily here at R44 because the quality and fitment is always there. So front lip wise, we went for the SP1 front lip for this build. We do have the SP2 front lip that's recently released and it's probably a smart idea to debut it properly here at SEMA um, like we did at MPAC. But myself and Dylan, we know that the SP1, the SK1 and the SS1s are the OG products from the MHC range there. This splitter was the first splitter ever to be made for the G8X platform back in 2021. So this is, of course, we need it at SEMA. We needed that extra touch to say, the first lip is now at SEMA and it's here. So we've got the SP1 front lip, we've got the twin fin duct. So these are designed in combination with the SP1. So SP1's a bit smooth, the twin fins are very aggressive. We then got the GT grills, so it's got a line on the top and bottom and carbon in the middle, it looks amazing. We've also got these hidden carbon corners that you saw over at Impressive Wrap, which looks amazing. Color code on the top face, exposed carbon underneath, exposed on the side. So that's the carbon on the front. Touching in, we've got the IND, and it, well, we've got the full line toe strap in there, so we touch that in an IND trimmed uh, toe eye cover, which is top notch. And if you know IND, you know the details. Wrapping up the front end, we've got the IND kind of glo like gloss black roundels, so it's getting rid of the chrome on the outside and that. If you know, you know with those kind of ones. Going on, we've also got the yellow DRLs, and most importantly, the overall color is Narwhal Blue from a nose tech wrapped by Impressive Wrap. So shout out to them. We'll go, when we look inside the car, I'll show you how detailed the wrap is. On to power. So you can see inside the engine bay, we have some amazing things. So we've got a full 
we've actually got the four part now, right, Dylan? Four, four part CSF cooling package. So we've got the new engine oil cooler that's just been released about a week ago. That's now being fitted and on the car. We've got the heat exchanger, we've got the transmission cooler, and we've got the full billet inlet manifold. We've left that exposed. We've got full port injection system running ID injectors. And most importantly, we now have the R44 and Tom Wrigley Performance S58 right-hand drive single turbo kit. So if you don't know, single turbo kits have been around for a little while for the S58, but they haven't been around for the right-hand drive models. So Tom Wrigley has put the effort in with his team and built up this full conversion, utilizing the precision turbos. We've gone for a 68, 70 turbo. This is the reason because we've got a stock engine and stock transmission. This car is a daily driver, it's a tour. We've used this 8,000 miles across the US over the last six months so and we'll continue to do that around europe um, but we'll touch on that later so 68 70 turbo we've got turbo smart wastegate we've got a full catalyst downpipe system and an r44 titanium exhaust all the way through keeping weight down at 16 kg looking back at the engine bay we've got some mhc products this is the whole well this is the r44 team missing a few of the guys that are here they've got to sign it in this area but this is more the warehouse the office and the amazing team behind us and without you guys thank you so much to every single one of you at the office you guys are legends and you're the reason why it's all here. You guys keep it going while myself and the team are out here. So yeah, they've signed that. We've left that gloss because it's a statement piece on the front of the car. We've also got the Eventury engine cover. Unfortunately, we have to drop the full matte carbon uh, intakes just because we've got a huge turbo now. But Eventury engine cover is by far the be most beautiful engine, engine cover available. We've got the golden wrench caps that just tie it off nicely. We went for the gray caps over the red and blue because obviously it matches up so nicely with the turbo and the inlet. Last but not least, in the engine bay, we've got the Motec brace. So Motec brace is a three-piece brace. The quality of it is really high, good value for money, and it's from the UK. So shout out to Motec. Thanks again, you guys. We run them on all our cars. So that pretty much wraps up the engine bay. Anything else, Dylan? Oh, so we did get this little thing. It's kind of a hidden secret because it matches up so nicely with the Eventry. So you've got INDV, uh, ECU cover and exposed car well, matte carbon fiber. It's a nice little touch because that's the last bit of matte black in the car apart from these trims. Again, golden wrench on the uh, water fluid thing. Inside here, suspension. Let's talk about it. So we've got an airlift 3P management system, airbags fitted by Slammered over in Miami. So shout out to Slammered, you guys made this thing happen originally. So we kind of turned up at that workshop six months ago and said, hey, we've got an M3 Touring. We have a load of boxes from airlift. We've got G20, G30, F80 boxes. Can you make it work? They made it happen. We've gone for more of a racy ride height. The car settled down a little bit since this morning when we brought it in. So we've gone for a more fitted, showing the tire. Um, but you can see we can adjust it for trailers. We can do it for fitted. We can do it for track work. We can do it for any situation the airlift has got us. What else? Should we talk about the wheel setup, Dylan? So we have the S2801s with the Dimag. Oh, S2108. Sorry, I was just. Yeah, too excited. They are the most beautiful things. So S2108 with the Dimag uh, carbon fiber barrel. So this was a ballsy move, um, but you can always trust Voss. And that's one thing I've learned, especially uh, working here in the US and trusting Voss. And they supplied the first set of wheels on this car and they got the fitment bang on without ever fitting a touring. And then they've gone on to design this wheel. Well, they first sent it to us on a WhatsApp group chat, said, we've got these wheels. What do you think of them? Dinner and myself were like, yeah, they're the ones great and then we were like actually could we get carbon barrels and they said if you're going to pay for them we can do them and then again they just smashed it out of the park and made them work we've got the guy driving the old boy so yeah the wheels are absolutely serious look at the fitment perfect Kyle at Vossen was like you need some cup twos so the guys over at R44 sorted us out um, they shipped them from the UK over to here full fitted cup twos then behind the wheels we've got a full EBC two-piece floating discs they're essential they're on the front and rear one they clean up the kind of wheel because they're black bells and then really nice looking rotors but again performance wise this car if you've seen has done a lot of track work on the drag strip on the street and they've done a lot of miles and of course these these brakes just prevent any kind of vibration wear and tear and then behind them you've got the psi brake pad so these are dust free brake pads they prevent all the horrible dust that look at that we haven't even cleaned it yet and that is the minimal dust driving all the way all around los angeles and then all the way from los angeles to um vegas and that's nothing like that if we go on the race tracks and we're doing any racing we'll swap it up to the rpx's day-to-day -day use psi dustless pads are the one to go for 
wow, there's a lot of spec. We have just highlighted the front, but going down the side, we've got the MHC full replacement uh, side badges, MHC carbon fiber mirrors, again, direct replacements. Coming down the side, we've got some really nice details that we highlighted at Impressive, where the lovely guys and girls there have wrapped the OEM replacement side skirts, left the kind of sticking out part and exposed carbon, SK1, and of course in MHC fashion, they matched up the, these OEM side skirts with the SK1s and they look amazing. So that's a nice touch. Going on to the rear, of course, you've got the, the wheels are just unbelievable. It's a very Larry one. If you look at photos, the wheels just won't really work for you just because it's like black and the wheels look so small, but they are amazing. And they give it that kind of twin turbo hurricane look of such. So coming around to the rear, it's quite hard to see obviously, but we'll just highlight quickly, we've got the Alpha N roof. So you'll see in one of our series of the build, went over to IND, they ripped off the aluminium uh, gloss black roof and replaced it with the Alpha N. Alpha N has these two kind of ribs going down the middle. It's a, it's a huge part of the build. So that was, that's quite intense to strip the roof off, especially on a touring. So that was done over at IND, but touching up on the rear, OEM direct replacement corners, again, wrap the flat, leave the, uh, kind of sticking out bits. I really need a good term for that. Exposed SS1s, essential to match up with the front lip side skirts. And again, carbon flowing down. Asexons, we've got the SR reg plates, a so shout out to SR plates, legends. We've got the full direct uh, replacement trim going around, the DF1 LED diffuser, titanium R44 exhaust. Again, the full line uh, toe and eye, an IND cover wrapped in narwhal blue. What else? We've also got a nice gift from Ryan at IND who painted my uh, wiper because who likes a matte plastic wiper? Um, and then obviously some of the key sponsors that will go into Magtrace, the legends. But looking at the rear, it's pretty beautiful. So we're going to walk through this quickly before we go and show you the inside of the car. So Dylan, take a look and hopefully you can see. So the guys at CSF did this quite nice. It's the most touching thing ever to kind of have someone do this without us having to go, oh, and stress about it, they just delivered, they just asked me a bundle of questions and said, where do you go, what shops do you go, go to, et cetera, et cetera. So they pirated off from London all the way to New York. The car landed in New York, and then got transported down to Miami because we had to attend Goodwood Motors, Motor, Goodwood, Motor something, anyways. Festival of Speed, that's it. So we, we visited Festival of Speed, so we ended up canceling what we had planned in New York, went down to Miami, met up with Slammered, they did the air ride, Boston did the wheels, and then we were like, cool, the look of the car is pretty good. Actually, we've got Jake the rapper here as well, who actually wrapped the car in a nose tech, um, khaki green, dope, over at Slammered. So check out episode one of the build, that was crazy. We then got in the car, it was finished, it looked amazing. Um, we then went over to um, Titan Motorsports where they fitted the three-part CSF cooling package, port injection, the mic ball harness along the top, um, and everything like that. So they got the power ready. They got that stage two plus kind of getting ready. Mike, uh, and then we went over to PSI. They fit the uh, 200 cell R44 sports cats, the titanium exhaust system and the PSI pads. From there, we then tuned the car all the way up to IND. So uh, Tom Wrigley helped us get the car dialed in, went to IND, we got the roof changed over. We did the final details. The car looked good, but it really, really required some of the fine details. We then drove from there over to New York, we then spent some time in New York, visited Impact, enjoyed some time showcasing the car, dropped it to Turn 14, who are behind us um, there. The car sat there for a week while we went home and did some work. We then drove from Turn 14 all the way to do Route 66. We did, the car did the whole Route 66 drive, which is sensational. Then we landed over in Los Angeles, where again, we attended Beamer Invasion. We left the car, people enjoyed the color, and we showcased the people, we let people enjoy the build. It then went over to Impressive Wraps, where they did the Narwhal Blue. So unfortunately, Jake, the rapper, couldn't come out and wrap the car again. He was wrapping our G87M2, so make sure you check that out. He did an amazing job again with the Nose Tech Vinyl. Impressive Wrap, Narwhal Blue. And then it went to Studio RSR, Shout out to them, and that's in this video where we teamed up with Tom Wrigley and we built a single turbo kit for the S58 right-hand drive cars. CSF, of course, it was at their event. It's been chilling at their office non-stop. And of course, we've ended up at SEMA. But let's get straight into the final touch on this car, probably one of the best mods. I'm just gonna take it out. So, have a look at it. This is the Magtrace full race wheel. It's a, 
They supply this part, and this is a Momo kind of steering wheel. Finished is a Monte Carlo wheel in Alcantara, and this is the first prototype that's just been finished. It's just gone into production. It's a G series. So if you don't know racing wheels, normally you buy the wheel, you have to then code everything out. You've got to try and make it work. It connects into the OBD. JQ don't want any of that. They want it to be installed in 10 minutes, everything to work as per normal, and you just to get on the racetrack and enjoy it. It's quite crazy. Everybody's going to kind of roast us for putting a more racy wheel on a car like this. But trust me, you'll want it because you've got M1s, M2s. You've got two extra buttons here so you could do turn signals, traction, gearbox, anything like that. You can do anything you want. You then go onto this side, you can change the mode, take phone calls. You can then select on your head up display everything you want. You can do speed limit, cruise control, adjust the cruise control, map switch, everything. Zero, 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 zero fault codes, as well as you can even do uh, ACC. They've coded everything. So it's got, we were out for dinner with them, like millions of codes have been sorted. But yeah, proper bit. That is a nice touch. I kind of just want to leave it there, but I'm sure it'll be stolen. Um, but yeah, guys and girls, there's not much to say really, is there, Dylan? It's been an absolute movie. We'll show you in the next episode where we'll decide where the car does next. But for now, we're gonna enjoy four or five days here at SEMA. So yeah, shout out to the guys at CSF. Ravi, you've been an absolute legend. You made this dream possible from start to finish and helped us out. But yeah, thank you.